Hi there, welcome to another video and in today's video I want to talk about a handheld retro emulation system. So yeah, I just recently got myself a handheld retro video game console, Game Boy built-in games, and it cost me $19.50 including shipping. I'll show that up here. That is uh, $17.49 for the device plus shipping and taxes. Turns it up to $19.50. And if you're looking for this device, you can go ahead and check off handheld retro video game console, Game Boy built-in 500 classic games, USA ship. And uh, this is what you get. There's three colors right there and you can choose whatever color you want. And I'll go over the information here on the promotion actually, so we can actually see what the device has. So let me show that up here. That is what you actually purchase. And uh, if you want to buy something like this, just use that same information I just gave you in the description box in eBay, a search box in eBay, and you should be able to get this eBay, Amazon, or whatever, even in Google, you should be able to get it out of, let's say, Wish or Alibaba or something. So yeah, it's maybe even cheaper in some of those sites. Okay, and it says it has a 3.5 inch screen, professional chip, thin 6.5 millimeters. It can be used on a plane, long battery life, massive games, magnetic mobile phone case, and five languages. Okay, over here it says it's high performance game chip, stable and fast greatly expanded that practically and extensively of the game. Perfect. Okay. Latest game chip reproduces power consumption by 50% and improves performance or fluency by 27%. Uh, 24 inch eye protection color screen. Really? Double glass is used to effectively resist display radiation and better protection to the eyes. Okay. Uh, small and easy to carry. That's why I actually got this device because I wanted to put it uh, in my pocket or in my bag. Older to thin, which is also one of the reasons I want to get it. It has a magnetic attraction that 100 fit magnetic mobile phone case easy to carry. So yeah, it's supposed to have something that magnetically connects it to your phone if you have a magnetic case. Um, I assume that you have to have the magnetic case of your phone for this to actually work. Okay, so it goes over the features it has. It's on and off switch, key switch, LED battery indicator, loudspeaker, uh, game keys, start volume and reset. And over here, we go over the same things again with all the colors and whatnot. So that's about it. The reason I'm going over the description on the phone is because this complete thing came in this bag. There's basically only a box in here that's not even protected what's inside here. So let's go ahead and see what's inside the package here. The only thing that's protecting the package is the bubble here on the wrap. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, so this is what we get. Uh, hand behind it. It's uh, the box is kind of, you know, cheap boxes you get from China. It's all mangled up, obviously, with the packaging that it came in. Obviously, it's going to be mangled up. Um, USPS is not exactly taking care of your packages perfectly, but it did get here. It doesn't seem to be broken, and it doesn't seem to have anything else than a squash on the top here. So the box basically doesn't have much to say. Mini game player, 500 games, and uh, nothing else. On the back it says supports five languages, digital system with 2.4 inch wide LCD. The console is slim, portable, and trendy. So it's not portable, it's portable. Uh, with a thin, uh, with a, with the ultra thin body and small size, you can easily put it in your pants. Ooh. Take out the game machine at any time to pass the time without any restrictions. Yeah, unless you're an older guy like me with a child's toy in their hand playing video games, which is very, very, yeah, whatever. I'm not a nerd, I'm not a dweeb, I'm not a geek. Yeah, I'm all of those and more. Okay, so it gets three colors here, red, blue, and green. And I obviously selected the blue one because that's the color that I think looks best on this particular device. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Okay, so you get a standard USB charging cable, very short. And there's a joke you might want to add yourself there. And uh, six inches long, another joke. We get in here one 
leaflet. That's it. Uh, user manual. Basically the same thing that we saw in the description on eBay with the function keys and whatnot. Uh, do not disassemble or try to repair. Do not store handheld. Do not drop. Do not clean. Do keep away from kids. No, keep, a, keep the kids away from cable or connecting wire. Yeah. Okay, so here we go into the system. It has a screen protector, which I will leave on. I would like to remove this tab and leave only the screen protector there. I don't want to take it off. Maybe I can try to do that later. It seems to be that it's trying to come off here. So there's nothing on the back. Sides, there's only the port to charge it. On the top here, little holes for some lanyard or something. So I'll go over this again up here just in case. Uh, charging port, lanyard port, on and off switch, D-pad, four buttons, speaker, start volume and reset. So the keys are recessed, not completely recessed, they're just slightly above, I'll try to get that in the camera, just very slightly above on the device there, yeah, they're clicky and they're easy to press. Obviously the system is very small, so it's a little bit cramped. You only have to worry about D-pad and four buttons, so that should not be a problem. And for the most part, you just have to worry about A and B, which is mostly what retro games use. And uh, I have to say the system is very thin. If I compare it to my phone here, there we go. This is the OnePlus 6 Pro, and uh, that's the size that you get there, comparing it to that. If you put it Obviously in your hand, I already told you it's smaller than that. And it's, uh, it's actually very thin, easy enough to carry in a pocket and whatnot. I can even put this in my belly band, I think. And since it has nothing that snags into it or may break if you press on it, I don't think you'd have a problem. And the power switch is a slider on and off here. So that if you press it, it's not going to power on if you have it in a pocket. That's kind of cool there. They thought about that. Maybe they have a previous version that has had problems with that because if the button is powering on by pressing it and you have it in your pocket, obviously you're going to press it at some point. So let's go ahead and turn it on, see if it has any power. And it does not. So let's go ahead and try to charge this up. Maybe I can boot it with a battery pack just to make it work a bit. Let me go ahead and go get a battery pack. Okay, and here's my little battery pack that I use for testing and whatnot. Very small, very compact. Actually, it's blue, so it combines or is combination with the system itself, even though if it's a different tone of blue. But anyways, let's go ahead and power it on now, see if it powers on. There we go. Now we got power. Um, hopefully the battery works. It was completely discharged. Usually they come with a little bit of charge when you get these, but um, there's no way to open up and change the battery. There's no screws or anything. Um, so yeah, if the battery is bad, it's going to be a problem. Okay, so we're in the menu here. You get the five languages there. You have the kanjis here, and you have the actual English lettering on the other side for most of them. So if you want English or Spanish, which is, I think, what most people over here in Puerto Rico would get. So I'm going to go with English. There has to be music here, so I'm going to try to get the volume up. How do you put the volume up? One, two, three... Okay, so you press it. If you have it pressed and it doesn't make a noise, it's zero. One, two, three is the loudest you can get it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the start where Mario or something should be. Contra, Double Dragon, Super Bear Bros, Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2. Is that the original? I'm curious to see if that's... Shadow Warriors. Okay. Okay, so AMB. AMB would be X and A, and YMB would be Turbo. And that is not going to completely be visible to the camera. So I'm going to have to do a bit of trickery here. Stand up and get that up here. There we go. That's what you get. The screen is not that bright. 
seems to be working. I'm not very good at Ninja Gaiden, so it does seem to be working pretty well. The sound is a bit tinny. Other than that, you're supposed to stick there, aren't you? Yeah, there we go. Very hard to play like this. It does work. The control is responsive enough. I'm just bad at playing the game. See, I couldn't even kill the dog. I'm not going to go that way. I'm just going to go forward. Yeah, I'm going to die here. Reset. Okay, so every time you... I'm going to have to take this off. Sorry about that. But I want to leave... You're supposed to be able to take this off here without affecting the screen protector too much, aren't you? Yeah, I think I could do that. Uh, yeah, I was able to do it, but it's not. I'm not really happy about that. A lot of glue there. Whatever. So yeah, game worked pretty well. The sound is not really that good. The sound is actually pretty low. There we go. Even with the highest setting, it's still pretty low. was a mistake, huh? Fella get in the water. Really bad to play like this. Not that I'm the best counter player, but still pretty hard. Ooh, almost died. The screen is very small, and the bullets are very small as well, so if you're not looking at it straight on, it's not really that good to play. However, I have to say that the screen, for a cheap screen, even sideways, I'm able to see it, and I died. So yeah, I'm looking at it kind of 90 degrees almost, or maybe 85 or something like that. Seems to be working sideways. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, so can I get... Mario Brothers 1 or 2 or something on along that line? Galaga Plus. Okay, here we go. Oh, but this is the original, original OG Mario Bros. Okay. Uh, not what I was actually looking for. Let's keep going. Kind of uncomfortable standing like this. But I think it's the only way that I can get the screen recorded without having to do a completely different setup here and changing cameras and everything. So... Okay, what I will do is sit down while I try to get the correct Mario Bros. My back is starting to kill me there.
Okay, so I finally got it. It is uh, Super Bear Bros. 1. And uh, it was on the... So I'll show you real quick here. Here it is. Number 11 on the menu. That turns out to be Mario Bros. And you have to play this way instead of that way because the buttons are over here. If you want to run. Watch me die in three seconds flat. You go down through here? No. Ooh, I got hit. I haven't died yet, though. If you're playing on a small screen and playing sideways, that's not bad. There was a flower here, wasn't there? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, almost died. But I didn't do. Am I a Mario Pro? Nope, not at all. But I haven't died yet. I won't get the flag, I won't get the flag, I won't get it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, we go. Okay, that's about it. Let me turn it off. Let's remove the battery. It's only been connected for a few minutes. Just want to know if it turns on. There we go. So yeah, it turned on. Which means that uh, it's quick to charge because it was completely drained. And in a few minutes I took to play a few games, it actually got a little bit of charge. So yeah, the screen protector, I think I'll end up taking it off because I already lifted it. And it got some bubbles in there and the plastic is getting damaged. So I'll try to get some alcohol to it and wipe it off with a rag. And if it turns out and it doesn't scratch it too much, I'll leave it on. If not, I'll take it out completely because now I... This messed up all the screen. But yeah, the device is very thin. It's quite easy to play considering the size is only 2.4 and the buttons are very cramped and whatnot. But even for me that I have, I think, medium hands, um, is working pretty well. And I was able to play kind of like this. I was playing like this while I was recording it on the camera. So I hope, hopefully the camera recorded something that's watchable because the screen is so small. But it was not very hard to do it like this. Only that it was visible, but I was not able to play uh, accurately because obviously I was looking at sideways. If you look at it straight forward and play it like that, you may have a little bit of fun with it. And yeah, for little kids, if you want to have something that plays retro games and doesn't cost too much, this thing just cost me, as I said, I think it was 1950 So less than $20 shipped to your house if you live in Puerto Rico, if you live in the States, maybe even less. And if you get something like this from Alibaba or Wish, it may even cost you less. So if you have $20 you want to spend on some retro machine that does play some good NES games, even if they're ROM hacks or whatever, it should work, help you out. I got this one, as I said, for myself to have it in my backpack or in my bag or in my pocket. And uh, if I go somewhere and I need to play something, I could have this because usually I would take my, here we go. I do have the GPDXD Plus. Let's compare it to that. <laughs> But um, sadly, the screen, the touch is not working. And I don't really know if it's the ribbon, if it's the, ch the touch screen itself. The device, as I can show you here, it's in perfectly mint condition. The only thing is that the touch screen doesn't want to work. So uh, um, that's a project for another day, though. Going back to the device here, I would recommend it. Yeah, it's uh, $20. It has a few ROMs there that are basically classics, and they do work. The sound is not too loud, the sound is a little bit tinny, the control is a little bit cramped, but if you want to get something better or bigger, you may consider something like this that has a few more games. Maybe, I don't think this has more games. 260 has less games, uh, but this form factor is a little bit bigger than this one, so it's a little bit more comfortable. And these machines nowadays, there are some of these that are for $20, $30 and also have the same games that this has which um, you can get that if you want something bigger. The reason I got this one is because, as I said, it is small, and that's what I wanted, and I wanted to put it in my pocket, in the backpack, or in the belly band, or whatever, and be able to, if I have to go to, let's say, um, a medical appointment, not have to, have to be sitting there doing nothing, I could just be playing, and since the volume is not too loud, it won't bother anybody. It does not have headphone jack, but even so, you know, something this big with all those games that actually works, the control seems to be okay. 
I say it's cool. And if you're interested in something like this, I would say go for it. It's only 20 bucks, man. You know, you could spend more on a pizza. And if you're, but if you prefer playing than eating a pizza, well, you can get one or the other. Or if you want to have the both, just order a smaller pizza. So yeah, uh, jokes aside, even if that can be called a joke, uh, the system does work. It is very cheap. And I played it and I did not think it was horrible. So I would say, yeah. Uh, if I buy it again or buy it for somebody else, yes, I would. So there you have it. That's my opinion on this device. It's the Game Power with the information that I gave you first on eBay. I'll try to put a link in the description. I, usually, I don't like to put links in the description because when these uh, links expire, if you click on it, you're not going to be able to get the same item. But I can put like the description, which I actually told you in the video already. And if I give you the description, you could type that or copy it into eBay or whatever you're looking to buy it in. And you could get it like that. And you can get the most recent price and maybe a better seller than what I have it from. Um, but the device did get here in time. It was kind of, it got to me quickly because I got it from the U.S. And it does work, even though it was packaged in just the bubble wrap and nothing else. So yeah, there you have it. I hope you liked the video. You find it useful. Thank you for watching. Until the next video.